Uh, my name is Ryan Yatin. I go to the University of Wollongong in Australia and I am in Shanghai, China. It's crazy, intense and enjoyable. Um, so working five days a week, nine to six, it's full on work coming from not having a real world job to this internship and then still maintaining social life and going out on weekdays because there's always something going on in Shanghai. So to make the most of it, you can't just go out on weekends, you've got to do every single day and it's just minimal sleep and maximum partying with everyone and then still maintaining the work and it's just being the best part, honestly, because the people here that you meet are so nice and Shanghai is just a beautiful city. Uh, favorite experience in Shanghai is just experience, experiencing a city this big. Uh, I've been to quite a few cities, but this is by far the biggest and most diverse in what there is to offer. There's everything you could possibly ask for in Shanghai, and there's so many different places to go and see. Uh, like each area's got its own little special niche about it, and it's just to go to them all. It's just you can't fit it in in the short amount of time that we're here for. I'm definitely going to have to come back and explore more. So it was uh, quite an event stepping off the plane and trying to figure out my way. The nerves definitely hit me then because everything was in Mandarin and people were speaking Mandarin and I couldn't understand anything. But it's not too bad. Most people speak a basic English and even then there's uh, translator apps to help you get through. But first experience was, uh, why did I do this? I'm a bit crazy doing this, but now I don't regret it at all. Everything is quite cheap here unless you go to the main touristy areas, but livability costs aren't that high and it's just nice to be able to go out and splash a bit of cash and you can get quite a large amount of food or even shopping done for what you're spending as opposed to what you do back home. Um, it's quite easy to get around once you get the subway system as well. So once you learn that, it's a breeze getting around and it's quite cheap in there as well. So I feel like it's given me some real information um, that I'll be able to take back with me and then use for interviews and in the workplace when I get a job in the future. Um, it's it's given me more of an insight as to what I'll be doing my day-to-day -day routine for a job in the future. Uh, it's helped identify areas that I'd like and areas that I don't like. So if I can hopefully narrow that down even further when I look for jobs back home, that'd be great. Uh, get prepared for a cultural shock if you've come from a Western country for sure. Um, it's just so different here. People, there's so many people around. Like the country, the city has a bigger population than my country back home. So that was a bit of a shock. Uh, rush hour, I've never experienced before because I'm from a small country town and even though the university I go to isn't that large. But coming here rush hour was a shock. So just prepared for that. Uh, people just stare at you because you're Caucasian, so you're different to them obviously. And you will get just looks and people taking a picture it doesn't really matter, just shock or try it off, it'll be fine. Um, all in all, it's been a great experience though, so I would highly recommend going. It's just, once you get past that first hiccup of a cultural shock, you'll be fine. If you're on the fence about doing the program, 100% do it. It's a great way to travel and a great way to work at the same time. Uh, the workplace that I've been with has been quite relaxed, so it's a very nice. Um, and the city is just one that you can't compare to any in Australia.